Uh, my name is Chet Sadowski. Um, I own Chet's Cleaning along with my wife Sally. Uh, we've been in business for 32 years. Uh, I was an auto mechanic and I liked fixing things and I didn't like getting my hands dirty so I got into the uh, cleaning business of cleaning carpet and upholstery and other items. You get to really make a big change in people's lives, get great service experience. Absolutely. Um, you know, one of the things that we try to focus on at Chet's is um, health and cleaning from a health perspective. Most people clean because they spilled a cup of coffee or you know, just looks bad, and we want to make sure everyone understands the health benefits of cleaning. A lot of times people don't understand that it's the low level exposure to toxins that can really make you sick. Asthma, allergies, cancer, all that bad yucky stuff. So um, your textiles and your soft goods hold a lot of that. So they really need to be flushed out and rinsed out properly on a maintenance schedule for that stuff not to build up and make you sick. This is Hire It Done, my name's Adam Healthman. It's time for the Green Minute. It's time for the Green Minute with Hire It Done, brought to you by Malarkey Roofing. Malarkey Roofing Products, defining excellence. So, indoor air quality, you know, when you talk about it, you hear, <clears throat> All kinds of statistics. Like, I've been told the air inside your house is five to ten times dirtier than the outside air. And is what? A portable plug-in air cleaner going to change that? A uh, HEPA filter? A MERV 16 filter for your furnace? What about all the accumulation? Well, we're going we're gonna to solve that a little bit later this morning. However, I want to define indoor air quality for people who are listening right now. Okay, including the real definition by the EPA, which I'm going to read right here. The EPA defines indoor air quality as the air quality within and around buildings and structures, especially as it relates to the health and comfort of the building occupants. So think about your children. They've got asthma, respiratory issues, they're wheezing all the time. Why is that all of a sudden? Everyone's got an inhaler today. It has to do with air quality. We need to solve it. We need to address it. We need to figure out how to make it so that you're not having asthma attacks. And of course, today, air quality is a much bigger problem than it used to be, in part because of the advances in building technology. The same advances that have allowed us to seal up our homes tighter and give us better energy efficiency have also lessened the exchange between fresh air from the inside and outside. And air changes per hour is what <clears throat> we try to keep uh, for people but, you know, again, we're trying to keep houses energy efficient, so we want to keep the heat in and keep the cold air out. But at the same time, you need to condition that air. And when the air circulates, it also picks up VOCs and dust and mites and things like that, which people breathe in, that's the irritant. And that's what makes it um, a problem for you. So what can you do? We call it source control and prevention, right? It's the single most uh, effective measure, but there are other measures you can take. Um, first of all, what is source control? What am I talking about? That's not some scientific word or some big word. No. Uh, it's just really eliminating the sources of pollution. Some sources like those that contain asbestos can be sealed or enclosed or encapsulated. Uh, others like gas stoves can be adjusted to de de decrease the amount of emissions. I can't stop moving around. i got to answer my pants today. We call it spilkus. So if people want to see that, you can go to Facebook and watch us on Hire It Done and watch us live. And you can see that, like, I just can't sit still. It is what it is, folks. But, hey, it's especially important, though, in your house to open your windows and your doors when you're doing short-term activity that affects indoor air quality, like cleaning, cooking, painting. My neighbors, well, I better not say it. I'll get in trouble. I'm not going to talk about my neighbors. But how about getting an air cleaner? I'm going to find out if that's worth it or not when we get back. So, uh, also, adding houseplants. Do houseplants make a difference? You bet. All those items make a big difference for you. But, again, it's just what we want to help you out with that green minute, to help you keep green. So, on that theme, on the theme of indoor air quality, we've got uh, some experts in cleaning in studio right now. Joining me in the Higher Time Radio Show, is Jennifer Carnegie and Chet Sadowski from Chet's Cleaning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. Thank you guys for coming in. Appreciate that. 
So we just talked about indoor air quality, traps, toxins, dirts, and all that. And they have all these kind of hiding places. So let's tell the audience about Chet's cleaning and how it affects indoor air quality, what you guys do to combat, combat yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things that Chet and Zalia have always taught me is um, when you talk about toxins and things, people don't realize it's the invisible stuff that you can't see that's pretty harmful. So what they, the EPA says um, is hard surfaces with rugs and carpet is actually the most healthiest thing for your home because those things can be flushed and rinsed so you want to make sure that you're getting that stuff done on a maintenance schedule most people clean because oh the coffee spilled or the kids or this and that oh it looks terrible but really cleaning should be from a health standpoint you know it's a really good point i never heard of it positioned that way but it makes perfect sense so average homeowner they've got Several different surfaces in their house, right? Absolutely, yeah. Carpet, hardwood, tile, whatever. But then they got all kinds of furniture as well. Bedding, every one of those. Mattresses, draperies, um, all the soft goods that hold, you know, the air flows up convection air and then it settles back down. And that's the stuff that you've got to, we do this really cool Kirby vacuum test um, where we do, it's called the black soil test. And when we start vacuuming and showing the clients what's in their stuff, man, it's game over. They're like, let's schedule right away. <laughs> you know, it's interesting you say that because I, I, I believe visually that always makes a difference right? mm -hmm. you know picture tells a thousand well points. absolutely and a lot of times we're dealing with the um, female homeowner and maybe she's got to you know plead the case to the other party and you put that soil test right in front of them and there's no you know it's game over you so you guys you know. um tell me exactly like for the audience what chet's Oh, absolutely. So we are experts in cleaning textiles of carpet, upholstery, including leather, um, oriental and area rugs. We do all hard surface, including natural stones, and then window treatments, drapes, shades, and blinds. So pretty much if someone says, you know what, I need the air quality in my house cleaned up, the first thing you want to do is call Chet's, and you guys come out and do a once-over of the house. Absolutely. That's kind of cool. Now, like when you say carpet cleaning, is it just like a truck? You have the big truck with the big hoses and all that? Chet, you want to take this one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, actually, carpet cleaning or all cleaning should start with a good, thorough vacuuming. We don't okay. leave that up to the homeowner. Um, we want to extract as much dry soil out of the house as possible. We brought up indoor air quality. We talked about allergens and, and asthma. Sure. I worry more about the long-term health effects. We're bringing in pesticides, herbicides. People are getting sick right. and you, and as a, we age. At a record pace... The asthma doctors, the rheumatologists, or the respiratory doctors, over there, they are prescribing, and I was reading about this recently, everyone, oh, you're having problems with breathing? Here, get an inhaler, an inhaler, an inhaler. Right. So instead of, the, those are, you know, masking the system, symptoms. Absolutely. Instead of right. solving it, where now they're starting to say, you know what, what do you got in your house? Like, when you, you know, it, it always puzzled me, because I go to the dry cleaners. The plastic bags that the dry cleaners right. in. People don't realize that gives off VLCs. toxins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys can come to a house, and let, let's say my house for a second. I have wool carpeting. Oh, yeah. you are a smart man. No. <laughs> yeah. By luck, right? Yeah. But it's wool because it lasts so long. Mm -hmm. Right. It's easily cleanable. So when you when someone calls uh, Chet's for uh, I I want to clean my house up, and right. the first thing is let's say I want to start with carpet cleaning. You guys come and you actually vacuum the floor first before you do the other right. stuff. It, it starts with vacuuming, then we're going to wash the floor, and then we're going to rinse it. Most carpet cleaning companies are combining the wash and the rinse in one step, so they're not really rinsing. They're putting detergent into your carpet and sucking it out, not rinsing it. It'd be like washing your hair, washing your body, and just drying yourself off after. Mm -hmm. What about doing your dishes? Are you going to dry your dishes without rinsing them? I mean, none of this makes sense, but it's been going on for 25 years. Right. For, just because there's a, I guess it's so competitive, they just cut out all the steps that should be performed. Well, it's kind of like paint, primer first, then the paint. Mm -hmm. Right. Now they're like, oh, we don't need primer. Yeah. You know what? People are looking to shorten everything, but you guys are still doing it the right way. All right, we're going to continue this conversation uh, when we come back, and we're going to give you some air, give some air quality tips, and let's do a deeper dive into proper cleaning of a house. I'm Adam Huffman. Welcome back, folks. <laughs> oh, boy. This is Hired Done. My name's Adam Huffman. It's just part of my language. I can't help myself. We've got Jennifer Carnegie. 
Chet Sadowski from Chet's Cleaning. You're the Chet, right? I'm the Chet, yes. There's a <laughs> Sally, too. I should have named it Sally's Cleaning. But <laughs> right? I am the Chet. I like Chet. Yeah. So, Jennifer, what do you do for Chet's? I'm the marketing director. And uh, it's been a good year so far? Oh, my gosh. We're so blessed. We have the best clients. We have the absolute best staff. If anyone's listening, you got to check out our Google reviews. 250 plus, and they're all like a paragraph long about how fantastic my one of my staff members got flowers delivered to her. Um, really? Yeah, for yeah, a two days ago. yeah for a leather restoration job that we did. Clients sent us flowers. I mean, I've never heard of that. It's pretty pretty crazy. No, it's listen the appreciation and the results that people get. Obviously, it reflects upon the reviews. We've read them. We've seen them. I've known about your company for years, and I've known that you uh, had a stellar reputation. So. Congratulations to you guys. How long have you been around? Uh, 32 years going on 33. Wow. It's a long time. It is. You guys, where are you located? Madison Heights. Okay, so that's in the suburb of Detroit. Yeah, yeah very centrally located. And the website, ChetsCleaning.com, you can see everything that you do there. So when, when we talk about indoor air quality, somebody's like, you know what? I've got dust everywhere. I've got, you know, fabric couches. When they call you up, does it make sense to just do the furniture or should you do the carpet and the furniture all along? Well, that's an interesting point. One of the things that makes uh, sets us apart from a lot of the other cleaning firms is we actually send an inspector out to the home um, because we want to evaluate what needs to be done. Um, some rooms where there's not a lot of air, you know, traffic and activity, we can get away with doing what we call a silver cleaning where it's more of a maintenance level. But the very well used areas, the family rooms, the kids' bedrooms, we need to get a little more aggressive, maybe do what we call restorative restorative cleaning. So those are things that we come in and evaluate and then we'll determine, hey, maybe we need to do the tile this time around. And also we have something called an always clean program where we can set a client up on a payment program and get us in twice a year and kind of jockey around what they're Ooh, doing. A always clean program. I'm yeah. liking that. Yeah. So like once a quarter? Or? Um, it's twice a year okay. and then we usually, so uh, it's a two-year contract and we come in and we do traffic patterns three times um, and then we can come and do wall-to-wall -wall with protection because the protection aspect to and we don't usually want to get into an on program like this because it's kind of a complicated subject but one of the things we talk about is protection also helps with air um, quality because of vacuuming it makes vacuuming so much more efficient so do you recommend the homeowners vacuum on a regular basis oh gosh yeah yeah absolutely in fact um, we have a lot of different recommendations um, and we work closely with a couple of the vacuum storms in in the area because like Chet was alluding to earlier, we're one of the only carpet cleaning companies that actually vacuum before we clean, and that's super important. So, so is okay. So let's break that down just a visual for our listeners. You come out, you got a truck mounted unit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's the, the, the that's where you you know you got the that's the, the power plant. That's where it's going to be sucking everything out of their house. So now to speak. the wand ha has all the suckage. Is that a right uh, word? Suckage. Well, <laughs> there there is a difference with our company we don't use wands we okay. use a rotary extractor oh, because okay. it's making multiple passes across the carpet giving gentle agitation okay so it's, it's a little bit much of, more yeah, efficient agitating than a wand. yeah and that first pass is the is when it extracts yes um the with, with a wand it's manually operated and okay. it can be soaking the carpet before it sucks up that's why we use a rotary extractor it is always extracting the second it puts down the the rinse solution okay so, so that's how that process works. Mm -hmm. So when a homeowner says, oh, yeah, you're vacuuming first, that's part of that. Well, no, no, so no we're yeah. doing a totally separate dry vacuuming step. Okay, so the first step is the dry vacuum. And dry vacuum with a vacuum cleaner or with the truck itself with special tools. What do you usually use, the truck itself, or is it, you, have, you guys a, have a portable vacuum? On too? upholstery, we use um, the truck itself and on stairs, but on the carpet, wall-to-wall -wall carpet, we're using an upright vacuum. Okay. But we're pile lifting it ahead of time which helps to loosen the soil, realign the fiber so you get, actually the pile lifting allows us to get 50% more soil out with our vacuum cleaner. And that's the difference maker. Oh yeah. It's a huge difference maker with, with allergens. Does that cost more? And you guys are the same price as everyone else. Uh, wait, well, I wouldn't, I, I guess we're considerably more if we do our platinum cleaning. But it's to do it right. That's oh, the only way to do it. Do it right or don't do it at all. And if you have health issues or health concerns whatsoever, you have to do it right. Well, that's the thing. So you get the homeowner, Jennifer, who calls you up and says, mm -hmm. I'm, I can't have any chemicals. I need to make sure whatever you're putting down is not going to make me, you know, start breathing small or whatever. Mm -hmm. Your products are all 
green. What we talked about, Chet and Sally live on a lake a couple years ago. They switched us about eight years ago to a bunch of um, the green line. And what we tell clients, though, is, you know, there's this, um, I don't know, schism in the industry because green products sometimes they don't clean as well. And so what we try to tell clients is if you're going to maintain the greenness of your home, cleaning more often is what you really should be doing. You can't wait until it looks dirty because you're already too late, right? Of so course. a lot of times we want to make sure that we have that balance between getting it clean and keeping it green. And so um, as long as you're doing things on a maintenance schedule, like your teeth, let you know, listen, hey, carpet cleaning, sometimes it's not sexy to spend your money on, right? Of you know, course. there's a lot of other fun things but this is your health we're talking about and you know I always get kind of frustrated when people talk about you know hey um, what do you guys charge well when you're shopping for uh, an OBGYN or a pulmonologist or a cardiologist is that what you ask them you know do you talk about their rates we're the professional you know doctors if you will of your textiles we're the benchmark exactly. you know, it's, funny. it's a great it's a great analogy you know you get open heart surgery do you want the guy that's the cheapest <laughs> right <laughs> no i want dr khan you know what i'm saying i ain't messing around right so it makes sense but you but you again it, it, it's worth more absolutely i get a i have a guy i'm not going to mention the name who intrusively texts me on a regular basis i don't know how i got my cell phone he's a carpet cleaner and every month I get a text from a $99 whole house cleaning. Right. I'm thinking to myself, well, you watch, you ever remember that commercial, $99 windows? Yeah. Really? So I said to the guy, please stop spamming me with your dribble, you know? And, he, and he's like, oh, that's rude. I'm like, no, what's rude is, is once a month spamming me with your, you know, your lowball BS. Right. And you, know, you guys, you have to compete against that, don't you? Oh, gosh, yeah. So what do you say? Tell me, what do you say when a homeowner says, I got a guy who do for $99? Well, you're going to get it $99 worth of cleaning. Uh, $99 carpet cleaners have to clean about eight homes a day. You can't properly clean eight homes a day. We do one or two homes a day. Right. So and it's just totally different. And that's because you're a deep clean. Deep clean. Platinum. Clean it the way it's supposed to be done. We protect the home. You can't believe what what extremes we go through to make sure that we're not going to scratch baseboards, scratch moldings. Uh, we protect the foyer. We have special shoe covers. We have our own walk-off mat. We, we're we extensive when it comes to protecting their home. You know, and visual it, cues. That's a great point you just brought up. Homeowners are, are, are very, very aware when a carpet cleaning guy comes to the house and he puts on booties. Mm-hmm. You know, we recommend that, you know, when our, our heating cooling guys, we tell them, listen, you walk into a house, you better have booties on your feet, and then when you're setting that thermostat, if your fingers and hands aren't clean, you better put on a white glove. Adam, we take that one step further. We have something called tidy tracks, and I'm probably going to do a little bit for their business right now, but they're actual, I don't know, hard clip-on clip clip shoe, shoe covers. So the guys, if they're carrying a rug into the house, they don't sure. have to try to bend down with the booties. Oh. They actually just click them on at the door, and then they can go in and out. Smart. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I like those. Taking it one step ahead. I Think, wish you speaking of, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's actually good. Well, good one. But speaking of bringing in a carpet, so oriental rugs, area rugs can be cleaned on site, but there's also a deep clean. You can take them to a factory or your, your shop or whatever. Exactly. We prefer to take almost all rugs into our rug cleaning facility. We're more of a boutique rug cleaner. Um, Is there so a lot involved in cleaning a rug like that? Uh, it's pretty extensive, and it needs to be done very delicately. Um, wall to wall carpets made to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. Oriental rugs and rugs, on the other hand, they can be cleaned, but you just want to have a lot more control over it and do it gently. So, like, there's some expensive Oriental rugs out there, like, you know, Persian rugs with the, like, the Ridiculously thread comfort. Ridiculously expensive. In. <laughs> right, right. And so the homeowner's like, oh, yeah, I bought this in, uh, you know, Persia in the 50s, and now it's priceless. Okay. But the little tassels on the end are a little yellowed. Right. Come roll it up and take it and make it fresh, fresh again. You're like dealing with a, a piece of artwork, really. Oh, gosh, you are. No. It is artwork. And if you saw the way these rugs are made, it's it's just beautiful. Which but it's is our good. job to make sure we maintain the integrity and the life of that rug and bring it back to them fresh, clean, and beautiful. Which I fit, which makes sense. Um, typical job. How long does it take to clean a thoroughly clean a house? Average house. I'd say an average house, five to six hours. Oh, that long? Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. Now, can they walk on the carpet uh, that night? or? Oh. Yeah, usually 12 to 18 hours is dry time. Okay. And we give them surgical booties for them to wear. We don't have to click on for them, but we leave the booties behind. Even better. 
www.chetscleaning.com. Unbelievable information, folks. Uh, I want to thank you both for coming on. No, thank time you. Time flies when you're having fun, right? I know, right? Uh, you can do this all day. Exactly. Well, yeah. <laughs> when we come back, folks, we're going to be shining the contractor spotlight on the leaders in the electrical industry, CRG Electric. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network.